Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my first DIY on my channel. I'm excited about this. So I've been working on trying to figure out how to keep everything in frame. So hopefully this works out well. I'll test it out and see how it goes. So anyways, today's DIY is all Dollar Tree items. It is the items you see in front of you here. And I will show you what we will make. So this three-dimensional box um, frame, they are all over Dollar Tree. We're gonna use one of these. We're going to use five of these organizer boxes that are in the new craft section. We are going to use a total of six ping pong balls and we are going to use the large um, or the extra long craft um, wood dowels. So not the short ones they always have, but these are the newer ones you find in the newer craft section. So you get 10 in a pack for those. We'll use one of those. And this is what we are going to make. So this is a organizer tower. that spins and stores whatever you fit in these little compartments. Mine hold beads. This top piece comes off so you can remove each individual section if need be. So that is what we are going to make in this DIY. I hope you stick with me and I hope you like the tutorial. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create the base for our tower and because we are crafters and we never waste anything we're going to pop this little guy out so we can use him again at a later time for another project that we do. So they're usually pretty easy to just pop out. You just pop them out and put them to the side and you can use them later. Um, the bottom piece is not going to be seen. We're just using this. So um, we will go ahead and paint the base whatever color you want or cover it in paper. I will be covering this top piece here with a patterned paper just to give it a little something extra. Um, so we'll be doing that, but I'll be painting the sides because I'm not going to cover the sides with paper. So get that piece off there. So this will be painted, um, making this for a friend. So the base color is going to be gray. I'm going to use some chalk paint to paint that. Um, Dollar Tree has paints you can use, so you can also purchase those there if you want. And then I am going to go ahead and drill a hole um, in here. It's going to be a quarter of an inch drill bit is what I'm going to be using to put a hole in. You could use a Phillips head screwdriver, stick it right here and use a hammer at the end to poke a hole in it if you need to, if you don't have a drill. But this is going to be a quarter of an inch drill bit. That is the exact size of the dowel and that'll allow it to stay in there pretty tightly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drill the hole. I'm going to paint my base and I'm going to cover this with paper. Now to cover with paper, I am going to use my um, double-sided tape. And I'm just gonna cover this whole thing with double-sided tape, just run it around here. And then I'm gonna lay my paper on top. This is a basic brand double stick tape. Um, this is super strong. It will not come up once it's down. But you could use liquid glue of any kind on here, or you can use other tape runner. I would use permanent, not a removable. But um, this is what I'm using to stick it down. But um, wet glue works perfectly fine. You can use the Aileen's tacky glue that you get from Dollar Tree. I would use a brush to brush it on thinner because that is pretty thick. And then that way you get a good um, flat lay to your paper when you're putting it down. I will poke the hole in the paper with my stick on the way in that will also keep it tight and then we will um, add some glue to the underside to make sure that the wood dowel stays in pretty sturdy so i'm going to go ahead and do that paint cover with tape and drill my hole and i will be right back okay 
Now, while I'm waiting for the base to dry, I also painted the wood dowel. Um, that's personal choice if you want to paint it or not. I just wanted it to match the base. You're really not going to see it. There might be a tiny little half inch space at the top that you might see at the very end, but um, you really won't see it. So it's up to you if you want to. My ping pong balls are rolling everywhere. Um, if you want to do it. So while we're waiting for that to dry, we're going to prep our ping pong balls. So as you can see, there's a seam that runs down the center and this is gonna serve as our um, gauge to where we want to put the holes on the ball. So we're going to put a hole in the top of the ball and then we're going to try to match it with the bottom of the ball. Now get it as close as you can because um, we're going to kind of finagle a little bit when we glue it. But what we're going to do is just put a little hole in with like an exacto knife or a paper piercing tool. I packed my paper piercing tool because I'm getting ready for the expo and my crop. So um, that's already packed away. But we're going to cut a hole in the ball. So this is wide enough for us to stick one of our sticks in. So I just already have my dowel painted but I'm just using this for reference. So this is too tight because we want the ball to spin on the axis. The axis would be the dowel. So this is a little too tight. So I'm going to cut this hole slightly bigger. Now I'm going to try to keep my hole centered. So if you can tell, I have a little cut more over here than here. So I'm going to round it on this end. So where I get a bigger hole and have it centered. Now I'm just gently holding the ball. These are not like super um, sturdy like you know a regular ping pong ball is that you would get from like Big Five or Walmart or something. If your ball gets a little dented in and just use your little stick to poke it out. It's really not that bad. So, okay, now this goes in the dowel well and it moves, the dowel will turn freely. So now I want to put a hole here at the top. And you could see the dowel through here. So if you wanted to, you could take a pen or a marker and you could put a little spot there and then pierce it in that spot. So really just need the tip of the exacto knife or your paper piercing tool or whatever you have. You can round it a little bit by twisting the blade. Just be careful not to just slice down because it will just slice through the plastic. So I just have a starter hole here and I'm just going to go ahead and make this hole bigger. I tried to use the quarter inch drill bit to drill a hole but these balls are not sturdy enough to take the weight of the bit um, it just made it collapse so I that was an successful attempt if you had like a regular ping pong ball that are like way more sturdy and hard you probably could drill through them and get you a perfect hole so I have this hole here it still needs to be a little larger to let the rod go in freely because remember we want the balls to spin that's going to be our mechanism to make it rotate okay so it goes in the top of the ball and now we're going to feed it through the bottom of the ball and if you see this ball spins now okay so when you set it on this how it's going to be it slides up and down freely and it spins okay so just a little quick peek. What we're going to do is we're going to take this ball and we're going to glue it on the underside. See, there's a large opening here. And so we're going to set this ball. We're going to put glue on the inside of each of these pieces. We're going to set the ball in. Now when we do that, 
um, I'll show you an easier way to do this is to actually then feed it through the rod on the base and then level out the container and let it dry on the rod. That will um, assure that we have an even flat spin instead of it being a little wonky. Like if we're like, put it down here and we let it dry like this, just laying on our tables. Um, what if the ball, the holes are not lined up right? Then your container is gonna spin a little sideways. So we're going to let it dry on the rod. I'm just waiting for that to dry. Um, but we're going to just prep all the holes for right now for the containers and I will be right back when I'm done with all of those. Okay, so I'm back and as you can see, um, the base is dry. I've covered it with paper. I painted my um, dowel. I will paint this top part of the dowel um here um, at the very end because i had my ping pong ball on the top that i had painted to match um, just to finish it off at the end so i had already painted that and then i put some hot glue and wood glue at the bottom just to make sure that the um, dowel does not move because we want this to be sturdy because we're spinning it and we don't want this to move as much as possible i did use a t-ruler to make sure that my dowel was straight. So I did that. And if you push straight down when you're drilling the hole, you shouldn't worry about your dowel being straight, it should automatically go. If you're wondering where you drill the hole, is you're gonna drill it at two and three eighths. That's the exact center. So if you measure two and three eighths this way, two and three eighths this way, where they intersect, if you draw a line, where they intersect is where you're gonna draw your, um, drill your hole. Just in case you didn't know, pretty sure you all are familiar with that. So I'm gonna slide this to the side real quick. Over here, and we're going to now um, attach our balls to the organizer. So I cut the holes in each of the balls, and now we're going to attach it. Now, hot glue really isn't gonna work well because it's plastic to plastic, so you know how that goes, it'll pop it off but we're gonna use a liquid glue. So you could use the Aileen's Tacky Glue again that you get at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use this three-in-one um, advanced craft glue I got from Hobby Lobby, $6.99. I used my 40% off coupon. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick glue at the tops on the inside top of each section. So I'm just putting a nice big dot. This underside you're not gonna see, so don't worry about if it's a little stringy. It's no big deal, the strings will actually go away. So I did that, recap that. And I'm gonna place my ball into that spot. Now earlier I kind of mentioned that we're gonna allow this to dry on the dowel. So I'm bringing this ahead and I'm going to feed these through top and bottom. I'm going to let this sit on the bottom and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my organizer into a spot that allows it to be straight the whole way. Okay, so when you spin it, it spins evenly and it doesn't wobble, get lopsided. And so that's the position I want that in. So I'm gonna do that to all the other organizers and balls. I'm gonna glue, attach the ball, put it on top of each other, settle it down into the flat position I want it in, and just leave those to sit. Now this glue will be dry in 30 minutes, so, um, you can continue building. After you get all the balls set, the only thing left is to put your topper on. And the reason why I use a ping pong ball on the top is because, see, I only cut the hole in the bottom, there's no hole in the top. And that's so it finishes it off, but you could still remove it. If I put like a really pretty decorative bead, which is what I would have preferred to have put in up there, we wouldn't be able to get the organizers off and you want to be able to take them off so you can fill them or whatever you need to do. I mean, 
you can access each of these compartments and remove the the contents, whatever you decide to put in there, while it's on this organizer. Um, that's why we have the ping pong balls is to give us enough gap to allow for us to lift the lids and get things out. That's why I use these balls instead of like a smaller wooden ball that has a hole in it. So the top is just going to be, I painted it to match the base because I wanted it to all match. And then at the end, I'll just go ahead and slip this on top to cap it off and you'll have a finished product when you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish gluing all of the balls in place um, the way they need to be. We're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back after that to finish off our DIY. Okay, I am back. I have given it about one hour or so to dry just to make sure that it's all the way dry. As you can see, there are all five storage containers. They all spin. They are all level. They spin level. And you can open each one putting things in and taking things out while it's still on the tower. So you could, um, you know, add a nice pretty little um, bead on the top here and make it more decorative. You could embellish the base, the outside parts of the base or the um, side panels of the base and make it um, your own. and you know, fancy it up or make it match your decor, whatever you want to do. Uh, this is great storage for brads, eyelets, um, beads like I have in mine. There are eight compartments per um, organizer, so there's 40 different organizing compartments on this tower. Again, um, fully functioning opening. You can remove it still because we only put one hole. So you would just remove the top ball and then you could slide these back off. So that is my DIY. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, concerns, need any information, Feel free to ask me. I am more than happy to provide that. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. And this is the five tier spinning or rotating organizer using all Dollar Tree materials. Thanks so much. Please subscribe, like this video. Um, follow me on Instagram, also at Craftsbuckle Repeat. Um, I post pictures and announcements of videos that I'm posting. Again, this is only my fifth video. I'm trying to get better at editing and making sure that the videos are the best quality of possible. Um, I'm still working on it. Be patient. Um, I am getting some comments in the comment section and some, um, you know, asking or bringing to my attention certain things. I, I am aware. If you have any ideas on how I could correct some of the issues, I am still learning. You know, feel free to leave those down uh, below also. Um, because, you know, uh, it's always good to get advice and two heads are better than one. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Hope you try out this DIY if you're into organization um, like I am. And I will see you in my next video. Have a good one.